video showing the working of the library management system in Odoo. First of all you need to download the library management system from the Odoo app store and you can install it from the apps menu item. You can see that the library management system is already installed in my system. After installing you can just go to the library menu item. You will see the issued book history of the library. First, you need to configure the library management system. You can configure it from the settings menu item under the configuration. You can see that there are different configuration available. You can uh, create journals for the library, which is due journal and membership journal. Due journal is used for uh, invoicing the due amounts, and membership journal is used for invoicing the membership amounts and also the membership for membership ID generation you can set a prefix and a suffix for membership ID and also you can enable automatically calculate return date for calculating the return date and also the daily due amount for the expired book items these are the configuration available for library management system First of all, let's take a look at how to create a book inside library. For creating a book, you can go to the books menu under the books. You can see that these are the books I have already pre cre created. For creating a new book, you can just click the create button here. You can provide a book name here. And for creating a book, you have to enable is a book option here. By enabling is a book option, you can see that there are three tabs come under the books page you can see that book details and issued history and awards you can provide book name here and uh, the book title information and author information you can create uh, author information from here and also you can select multiple authors here also page number and also the ISP number of the book either 10 digit or 13 digit and also the publisher information you can create in publishers from here and also select one publisher here copy by owner and edition details and category and average rating language and web reader link and preview link also the history of the book will be shown here and also you can create new awards for the book for creating awards uh, you can just click add button either you can select a previously configured award and or else you can create new awards from here if you want to see the configured awards you can just go to the configuration awards these are the awards which I have previously configured you can provide an image for the award and award name and country awarded by you can provide a ribbon for the award which is an image and also you can provide a next higher award and next lower award here Instead of creating new books manually, you can just import the book details by using the unique 13 or 10 digit ISBN number. For importing the book details, you can just click the import button under the menu. When you click the import menu, you will see a wizard like this and you can provide the either 10 digit or 13 digit ISBN number of a book which, which is you want to import. Suppose I am providing a 10 digit ISBN number here by clicking the get book details all the details of the books corresponding to this ISB number will be given like this you will get all details of the book including the authors publishers and rest of the information also the description showing the for the book will be given by just click creating for creating a book just yes, you can just click the create book button here can see that the books the corresponding ISPN number is created here all the information will be given here for viewing authors and uh, creating new authors you can just go to the authors menu under the books you can see that these are the authors I have already created 
can see that this is the other details you can provide the other details here and also you can add awards awarded for the others by just clicking the add button and also the books related to the author will be given here the book count will be shown here by just clicking this button you can see the books related to the corresponding author correspondingly you can configure publishers here you can see that these are the publishers which i already have by just clicking one of the publisher you will see the publisher details and you, you can uh, add awards also here and also the publisher details like a website and country of origin founder and founder date also you can see the books related to the publisher here and also the count of the books related to the publisher and also the count of the authors related to the publisher by just clicking the books button you can see the books related to the publisher and also if you want to see the authors related to the publisher you can just click the authors button you will see these are the four authors related to the publisher for viewing the members inside the library you can just go to the members menu item under the members you can see that these are the members we already have so by just clicking the member you can see the member details and i can block and unblock members by using the button now this uh, member is in blocked state i can unblock the member by just clicking the unblock button you can see that the member is in unblocked state you can just block by using this button and also if you want to create a member you have to enable the library member by only enabling the library member you will see these two options library membership you can see the membership details and expiry details and also the history of the membership and also the books which is previously issued will be shown here and also you can see the two amount which is previously invoiced and the books currently holding by this member you can see that this is the book which is holding and also if the membership is expired the correspondingly the system will be notified uh, and the, the user will be notified by email you can see that the email is sent you can see the membership status here and also the next expiry date of the member if a membership is expired you can just renew the membership by clicking the renew membership button you can configure different types of membership from configuration membership types you can see that these are the two membership i have previously configured these are the details which you can provide inside a membership which is a renewal amount this amount for renewing the membership and expiry date which is the membership duration in days and the renewal product based on this product the invoice will be created for membership renewal and you can enable do not expire and expire email if you enable this option the corresponding membership will be the member will be notified if the membership is expired and also you can restrict the book count here when you restrict the book count correspondingly the number of books will be shown here only this number of books can be held by a member with the corresponding membership and also you can provide a terms and condition and extra note from here correspondingly you can configure the membership types if you want to renew the membership just click the renew membership button from here you'll see a wizard like this and you can select a corresponding memberships and the renewal amount will be automatically given here and automatically the next expiry date will be calculated from here you can see that automatically it will be automatically calculated by just clicking the renew and invoice you can invoice the renewal amount as i am renewing and invoicing you can see that the invoice will be created for certain amount for the corresponding product monthly membership and you can just register the payment validate you will see the membership is in not in expiry state and also the membership next expiry state will be shown here you can see that the membership renewal history from here this is the history i have added recently 
there is an another option inside membership which is late members late members are the members those who have haven't returned the book after the expiry date you can see that this is the late only late member i have by clicking to the member and going to the on hand book you can see that these are the books which is not returned after the expiry date correspondingly you can see the date members from here for issuing new books to the members you can just go to the issue book menu you will see the history of issued books you can see the status has returned issued expired and draft by just clicking the any of the issued book you can see the details of the books you can see that the book name and the issued date and the expected return date and uh, this is in the return stage so that you can see the return date and it's also the responsible person and also the ESPN number and uh, the member details you can provide extra note from here suppose you want to create a new issue you can just go to the issued book and uh, just click the create button you will see the form view like this you can just select the book you will see the available quantity of the book and also you can select a book holder name so if you select a holder name you will see the membership details which is on expired state or which is the member is in blocked state you can so see the membership id also from here if the member is in expired state you can issue the book select a member you can see that issued book button comes here by clicking the issued book button you can issue the book can see that the status is in issued state there are two other options they are return book and uh, renew book by just clicking the return book you will see the corresponding books will be returned and the quantity will be updated you can see that the available quantity will be updated and also the due amount and invoice amount will be shown here if you want to renew a book can just click the renew button here correspondingly the book issue date and the expected return date will be updated you can see that you can see that the corresponding expected return with it will be updated and the status will be in issued state correspondingly you can renew the expired books you can see that the book issued date and the expected return date here so i am renewing the book you can see that the date will be updated and also the status will be gone to the issued from the expired state correspondingly the corresponding member will be notified if the book is in due state you can see that the email will be sent to the member you can see here email contain this body going to the expired books if you want to return the expired book item just clicking the return book you will see a warning that the there is a due amount for the corresponding book and you have to clear the due amount you can see that the due amount is 100 and the invoice amount is zero by just clicking the invoice due you can invoice the due amount can see that the UM amount is invoiced based on the product library due for the partner and the source document will be updated and by just clicking the extra payment validate the due amount will be invoiced and then you can return the book you can see that the status is in return state correspondingly there are three different types of reports available in library system they are issued a book and member report and book report coming to the issued book report you can see the different types of filters here you can generate a report in pdf either in xls or pdf these are the filters uh, by configuring these filters you will get uh, the report for issued books next one is the member report 
you can there are two filter option here you can configure the filter options from here you can configure either the membership type or you can enable blocked member if you want to see the report for only blocked members you have to enable this option and you can print the report in either in pdf or in xls format one of the another report is book report this is only available in pdf version if you want to generate the book report just click the button and print pdf you see the book report will be generated and the corresponding books with the on hand quantity and uh, other details like author and publishers will be shown here these are the three reports available inside the library management system like this uh, we can configure the library management system and use the library i hope this video helps thanks for watching